Hello, my name is David Council, service engineer at Caterpillar for the Backhoe Loader Group. Today we're going to be talking about our F2 backhoe loaders, including the 415, 416, 420, and 430 models. We're going over some of the maintenance practices that will help you get the maximum performance out of your backhoe loader. When adjusting the E-Stick on your F2 series backhoe loader, it's the same as the previous E-Series and F-Series machines using simple hand tools. The side-to-side -side movement can be adjusted, removing the four plates, two on each side. After removing the cover plate, remove the shim to get the proper spacing between the inner e-stick and the outer e-stick. You'll need to do this for all four locations. Remember that our pucks are impregnated with a lubricant so they don't require grease. After removing the final shim, put the cover back on and replace the four bolts. Remember, you can store the shim on the outside for future use. The up and down movement of the e-stick is controlled by two wedges, one located here at the front of the stick, and one that's located at the rear of the stick. To adjust the wedges, loosen the bolts at the slots. Then adjust the Allen wrench to get the proper gap as documented in your operation and maintenance manual. Tighten the bolts back when you're done. Remember, shimming the e-stick only takes a few minutes using simple hand tools. Use your operation and maintenance manual for the proper procedure. And remember, no lubricant is required for this e-stick.